and good morning. I am officially starting my weekend call shift right now. I haven't done one of these in over a year. I think the last time I did one of these weekend call shifts was like October of 2018, I think. Is that right? Yeah, October of 2018. It's now January of 2020. So as you can tell, it's been a little bit of time since my last weekend call shift. Now I have been on IR most of my time during this last year of residency, and I take Q4 call, which means every fourth day I'm on call in IR and every fourth weekend I'm on call, but I haven't taken any diagnostic call in that time. So here I am. Now we're about to start a weekend shift. I haven't done one of these day in the life or a weekend in the life videos in a while. So why don't we do a read some studies and see how the weekend goes. So I've officially only been here about five minutes and I already have like five fluoro studies that I need to do. But I'm probably only doing about two of them because the others aren't really emergent. So they'll have to wait. So let's go crank out these fluoro cases and get back to reading studies. And I've officially now done two fluoro studies this morning. So that was fun. Now I'm about to get some breakfast. And look what my lovely wife packs me for breakfast when I'm on call. As you guys know, she always takes care of me. So when she's making herself a little parfait or whatever in the morning, I always tell her to make me one too, which is really sweet of her. Look how delicious this looks. Mmm. Breakfast of champions. Also, if you guys peep the fit today, check this out. Wear fix hoodie, the joggers all black, and the Yeezys on the feet. All right, we are about halfway done with the shift. Been crushing some neuro studies lately, some MRI bodies, some MSK MRs, and pretty much just everything that comes on the list. I'm also helping my second year out a whole bunch, reading some of his studies because no one really helped me when I was a second year and I would have appreciated it. So I'll help out whenever I can. Now it's time to get some food. So today we are going with the chicken sandwich because it's portable and I can eat it really quick at my desk so I can read more. And if you've seen my videos before, you know that there's a Starbucks in my hospital, which is why I'm going for my second little coffee or tea right now. And since I'm on diagnostic call today, my good buddy slash co-fellow is on IR, taking call this whole weekend, and they are super busy up there. So I might just stop in and say hello. All right, so we are approaching the end of this day. Just went to IR so I can grab a little snack. Let me show you what else I got. So as you can see, I got a whole bunch of cheese, crackers, and peanut butter, which is what every resident lives off of basically while we're in the hospital. So I got like three more hours left. I'm going to go crank out some other studies and hopefully get out of here on time. <laughs> since I've read all of these MRI brains and MRI spines, but it's kind of like riding a bike, I guess, because it has been a while, but once you open a study and you kind of get in your groove and you can kind of just like read them like you used to, it's kind of weird. It's like riding a bike. That's the only way I can describe it because I haven't read some of these studies in over a year, year and a half. Uh, especially some of the MRI total spines and brain MRIs because I just don't do that anymore. But yeah, it is funny because sometimes 
I, you just forget these certain phrases that you say as a radiologist or radiology resident, because every radiologist has certain phrases they use for everything. Like for instance, subcentimeter hypoattenuating hepatic lesions common too small to characterize. Or for example, no appendiceal wall thickening, mucosal enhancement or periappendiceal stranding or fluid. You know, just kind of stuff like that. And once you kind of get back in the groove, you can start picking up the speed and going through the studies. So two more hours left and almost done. And just like that, you already know what it is. We are done. Well, we're done with day one. So I finished up reading an extremely difficult study. It took me like 45 minutes to read this one ultrasound. And so that was tough, something I've never seen before. And sometimes these things take a long time. I had to consult some of my uh, co-residents, see what they thought. And uh, yeah, now I'm officially going home. I don't know if I'm gonna eat because it's like 8.30, but we'll see. Time to get some good night's sleep and let's do this all over again tomorrow. And good morning. As you probably know, we're hit hitting up Starbucks for round two. I don't do this all the time. I only do it on my call weekends because you know what? I deserve it. I shouldn't say I deserve it. It's more of like, I treat myself when I'm on call for a little Starbucks coffee. And just like that, we are back at it again with another call shift, AKA my last call shift for this weekend, also known as Sunday. So we are about to start second 12 hour shift for the weekend. And then I have tomorrow off. So I'm actually in a pretty good mood. Got my coffee, let's get to work. But first things first, as you know, wifey always packs a nice breakfast for me. Let's go ahead and refrigerate this bad boy. All right, so it is about noon. I finally ate my breakfast and just been crushing through some studies read mostly my lower level studies this morning because I haven't had to... Adult rapid response. So I haven't read... So I haven't read many MRIs this morning because there just haven't been that many. Only like a few brains and whatnot. But either way, we are about... So like I said, I keep getting cut off, but I just read a few MRIs this morning, helped out with my lower level. And now I'm going to grab a little glass of water, if you will. But anyways, I'll check in with you guys shortly. And we are officially not done. It also smells like smoke in here, which this is a smoke-free campus, so nobody should be smoking. Anyways, it's like three o'clock or so. Finally taking a break to go get some food. So you know how the deal goes. Probably get some chicken, keep it real healthy. Who knows, maybe some sushi, I don't know. Our hospital food is actually pretty good here, all things considered. So, whatever. I still have a ton more to read. I protocoled a ton of MRI and CTs, so wish me luck. Long road ahead of me. All right, so since lunch, I've been running around like a crazy person, uh, dealing with pretty much everything from whole bunch of crazy cases to even uh, contrast reactions at the scanner. Because yes, sometimes a very, 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 very small portion of people have reactions to the IV contrast we give for CTs and MRIs. And when that happens, the radiologist has to go evaluate them to make sure they're okay, make sure we don't have to give them epinephrine or anything like that. So. Then we had to write a whole bunch of notes. Man, that sound feels good. And I'm about to go get some Starbucks because I need a little afternoon pick-me-up. All right, and we have a nice little lull here, but we have a couple of traumas coming in. The CT scanners are about to be full, so fill up the water, going to get some snacks in IR, as per usual, and try to have these trauma scans out and all the other scans that are happening at the same time. So I'll probably be here a little late tonight.
And just like that, we are officially done with this weekend of call. And now you can't see me. So that officially concludes this weekend of Diagnostic Call. And you know what that means. I only have one more weekend left of Diagnostic Call of my entire residency, which is absolutely insane to think of. And I can't wait to be done with it because let me tell you, it's pretty stressful, I'm not gonna lie. I forgot how stressful it actually was to read all these studies and try to help out your lower level and get paged all the time. And then having to rush to the MRR or rush to the CT scanner when the techs need you. And then we have to read all these studies from outside hospitals on different computers. But the main thing is we are done and two more weekend days left in my entire life in residency. And probably ever, because I probably won't take diagnostic call again per se. Sorry about the wind if this is loud. So as always, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer as many as I can. Usually I try to answer the ones that are posted first after I post the videos, like the first hour. So if you're quick to post a comment, I'll try to respond. So if you like these kind of videos, I plan on doing many more in the future to kind of show you my life as a resident. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh,